Alrighty, you guys. This is Isaiah Ramos here at 1627 South Midway um, Straight here at Mich I'm sorry, West Laco, Texas. We're going to be checking out this 4.9 acre piece of property. Very, very huge. And excuse me breathing heavily. I just finished making a lot of videos and clips for my other social media platforms. So I am super sweaty. I got sweat all over my eyes and it burns a lot. But we're gonna make our way into the property. But over here to the left, you get a nice beautiful pergola. So you have some beautiful trees over there. And uh, it's 4.9 acres. I love that it's fully fenced. That is a lot of fencing that, you know, is done, of course. And it's it's a nice property. I believe that the property was built in 2020, if I'm not mistaken. 2020, 2021. Um, barely lived in. You can tell the inside is very much kept up to date. And a very long road. <laughs> and so that's why I'm actually breathing heavily because I literally ran... Uh, from the beginning of this property all the way to, up to the house and of course inside in a single shot uh, For my social media such as TikTok and Instagram, but regardless all this uh, running that I got is good for my heart and uh, Wow beautiful little, you know play set for the kids the family You got some mesquite trees. You got different types of trees as well You had a swing over here like a lot of space to just kind of play around in and uh, even more mesquite trees and we'll just kind of keep making our way over here it's a long but private and good entrance I love that you know it, it still takes time just to actually approach the home and uh, I think we're inching close to two minutes and 30 seconds just to approach the property but then again i'm only driving like 10 miles per hour but i love this whole circular uh driveway pull up there's a side garage as well you see the uh, four ton or five ton uh ac compressor on the side and check out look at this look at the steps leading up to the home it's a very beautiful house and i'm gonna go ahead and leave my car on it's charging my uh drone for now but beautiful wow beautiful house again 4.9 acres texas stone you got contera stone stamped steps leading into the home and look at this wow i, I don't know what the specific term is to those but we can call it a chalice for now Get the beautiful ornate fixture on top. And of course, now we're here at the front door. And so, whew, finally, some good fresh air. And my days, wow. So this is the grand foyer. Before I start going into the details over here, this is pure Contera stone. Wow, I think it's, Contero stone, but it's hollow on the inside, but these are columns. Very beautiful. Lots of what you see is uh, Spanish Mediterranean ornate fixtures. I mean, hopefully this table comes with the house, given the price tag. <laughs> but regardless, it's a very big and spacious house. Absolutely lovely. I love the curved windows. That's what gives it that whole Mediterranean style along with the niches as well. Love that gold, looks like gold leaf, but it's actually just paint, but it gives it that really good accent in this home. And I think it really blends together a lot of neutral colors. So for example, the floor that looks like a 48 by 24 inch and uh, it, it's porcelain beautiful good quality flooring really really huge you know tall ceilings and uh very decorative you got two huge niches 
You can mount your TV there, set up your couch here facing this wall. But I love that you see a lot of the natural stone inside the house as well. A very unique home. I would say that this home is uh, very specific. Um, for sure, this is a custom home that was built at this client's uh, needs or tailored for them. But I do love the fact that, you know, maybe everything that you see inside might not go with, you know, every single family, but you do see the beautiful parts that they really implemented into this home, such as the huge windows, Contera stone, this type of countertop. You don't see this everywhere. I love that it also runs as the backsplash Beautiful, detailed, Mediterranean-styled cabinets. And then, of course, you got your Mediterranean-style ceiling as well. But beautiful details. And I love that this part's very wide. So you can have, like, a family event such as uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And uh, family members can, you know, actually have enough space to kind of prepare everything. And I love this really, really tall range. And wow. I wonder if it's, it has not been installed yet, but it should be. You got your sink, you got the matte black sink. Very beautiful. Like I said, like this house, you can tell it has hardly been lived in. It's, it's a really beautiful home. And wait till you guys check out the, the master bedroom. Of course, you get some nice, beautiful, what looks like 10-foot doors. I love that they have the door stoppers. You have the thermostat set up already. And then the baseboards, by the way, are consistent throughout the doors. But they're 12-inch baseboards. Very beautiful. You get your niche. You get your little filter for your AC unit right behind this niche. You got this extra room attached to the master bedroom. Before we check out that room, of course, I do wanna go over the master bedroom. You got the beautiful ceiling, Texas stone. So I'm thinking you can set up your bed over here. You can definitely fit a California size bed, mount your TV there, and you get all of this natural light. You got a lot of space to play with. Of course, this is a, a dedicated vanity area or your own little office, whatever the case may be. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, now let's go into the master bedroom. You got this niche granite countertop. Wow. Like I said, it's a very ornate home. Look at this. It's very shiny. You get the beautiful light just kind of reflecting off of that. And you got some more. You got a his and hers. Get some more cabinets. Beautiful. So Contera stone, like I said, throughout the entire home. And two whole different sides. You got your niches over here. But boy, oh boy. You got your baseboards. You got your master closet space. Very nice size closet space as well. And uh, now we can make our way into this extra room over here. You got your AC closet space, and then you got this little hidden uh, compartment here. So that's pretty cool. You can hide your, you know, your little stash, whatever the case may be, your collectibles um, there. And now we can check out the guest rooms. Nice, beautiful guest rooms. And I love that this 48 by 24 porcelain towel is consistent throughout the entire home. Look at that, beautiful. Wow, that's very nice. And then the, the, the porcelain towel is also consistent in the bathtub shower. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the lights as we start finishing up in some areas. But you get a powder room over here. Very, very nice. And uh, I think that the selling point of this 
property. Of course, you know, you get a house that's hardly been lived in. And you can tell, like, the caulking is done really well. It's still good. And uh, I like the fact that you're still within the city limit. And you have close to five acres of land. That is a lot. So I think that's the real main selling point or I guess given the, the price tag of this home. But you guys let me know, you know, what would you do with this much land in your property? How would you use it? Uh, would you set up like a pool? If so, how would you set it up? Would you build upon this, you know, home even more? And if so, how much more? What would you do? And of course, you get this huge, expansive uh, back patio. It's stamped. And then, of course, you got more mesquite trees in the back. It's a beautiful setup. So I can just only imagine, you know, being within the city limits, but living country at the same time as well. So you guys let me know. What do you think of this home? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's worth it? And uh, what would you do that with this much space? But I also want to thank you guys so much for constantly supporting my channel. Um, I'm very thankful and blessed. And I noticed that there's already a good hand of, handful of you that I noticed that are always commenting in my videos. Thank you guys so much uh, that, you know, I, I pay attention to everything. And uh, thank you guys so much. God bless you all. Stay safe. And uh, should you have any questions regarding real estate, don't forget to check out my website, RamosRGVRealtor.com. Check out the listings. You can find this one there, 1627 South Midway at West Laco, Texas. But that's about it, you guys. God bless you all and stay safe.